Ah, such a beautiful day, isn't it? It is, until it all goes boom. That's gravity disappearing for just a second. Let's recap the events from the smallest to the largest scale. We'll start with you. Yes, you. If gravity is lost for a single second, unfortunately, you'll most probably be no more. Thing is, gravity doesn't only keep you anchored to the Earth, it also holds all the atoms inside your body together. If this force completely disappears, even for such a short period of time, chances are you'll simply fly apart. Blech. If you don't, then you'll start floating above the ground. Not high, though, because one second isn't enough to fly too far away. If the gravity stops working only for you, then you'll levitate a little over an inch upwards and then fall back without consequences. Your thoughts will be occupied by the lack of oxygen in your lungs, though, because with no gravity, your blood will stop pumping. Now, if it affects the surrounding objects as well, you'll be lucky to be away from home because everything around you will float too. And after a second, all your cutlery, your bed, your wardrobes, etc. will smash down on the floor. Luckily, buildings and trees will probably stay put because they're strongly rooted in the ground by their own means. Still, the picture won't be pretty, and it'll be up to you to clean that mess. Ah, shucks. By the way, you surely know our planet is spinning and hurtling through space at mind-blowing speeds. So there's a chance that if gravity does turn off for a second, everything on the Earth's surface will succumb to inertia and fly horizontally at several hundred miles per hour. That will be an even bigger mess. But only if everything retains its mass. If it doesn't, then it should be no problem. Maybe. Yet, the real trouble starts if the gravity disappears for the entire planet. The force of gravity is equal to the pressure from inside the Earth. And if the outside pressure is gone, nothing will stop the molten innards of our planet from bursting onto the surface. An immense earthquake will begin all over the Earth as the tectonic plates move upwards. Also, all the world's volcanoes will probably erupt too, since the lava will be pumped up with the pressure. If such a mega-eruption occurs, no life will survive except the sturdiest of creatures, such as tardigrades. The clouds of volcanic ash will spread across the whole planet, blocking the sun. At first, the temperatures will rise due to the greenhouse effect. But then the planet will cool down, and a new ice age will begin. Optimistic. This will all happen even if the gravity returns after a second, because the motion will already start and it'll take a more powerful force to calm it down. Up above, the atmosphere of the Earth will simply evaporate. The air we breathe is also kept around the planet by the force of gravity. So if it pops, we'll have nothing to fill our lungs with. Hmm. When the gravity comes back in a second, the atmosphere will eventually gather itself back, but the damage will have been done already. It will take a lot of time for the air to return to its original composition. Meanwhile, in space, things are even worse. As far as we know, everything in the universe is held together by gravity, including other planets, stars, galaxies, and even galactic clusters. On a cosmic scale, our planet is but a fleck of dust, having a really tiny mass. The Sun is incredibly huge by comparison. It's 109 times bigger in diameter and over 300,000 times more massive, which is why its gravity is able to keep so many planets in its orbit. And now that enormous force is just poof. Even though it's only a second, the immense pressure of gas from inside our star makes it explode, sending a heat wave far greater than anything we've ever experienced in history. Now, the Sun will most likely survive because a second is too short a period of time for the star to inflate too much. But the same can't be said about Mercury, Venus, Earth, and probably Mars too. Mercury, being the closest, will probably be simply incinerated. The temperature on Venus is already extremely high, but it will spike even more, scorching its surface. Good thing it's not inhabited. And bad thing that Earth is. The heat wave from the Sun will probably obliterate our atmosphere first and then do the same with the surface. So, from the looks of it, nothing will be able to survive. Again. Oh well. But that's not even close to the end. Our Sun is one of the smallest stars in the universe, the biggest known one being about 1,500 times larger and more massive. 
If such a giant loses its gravity for a second, everything around it for millions upon millions of miles will simply disintegrate, including other smaller stars. But the objects with the most mass and, as a result, the most gravity are neutron stars and black holes. Both of them are extremely small for their mass, like me. But the pressure inside them is so immense that the loss of gravity for even a fraction of a second might mean a tremendous space explosion. And with a whole second, it's basically warranted. Nobody knows for sure, though, how black holes operate, so there's a chance that something else will happen with them. Or nothing at all. Finally, on the largest scale, if gravity decides to take a second-long break, surprisingly, nothing much will happen. Planets will mostly retain their orbits, although they might change a little bit. And if we talk about galaxies or galactic clusters, those won't even notice anything. The biggest changes will be local because, as I said earlier, stars will explode and the larger the blast, the more it will affect the neighboring celestial bodies. For example, if a star large enough sends a wave of energy in the direction of our solar system, it might send asteroids flying toward us from the Oort cloud. Those space rocks fall onto the Moon and even Earth quite regularly. But they're mostly rather small. The ones sent to us by a star explosion, however, might be a lot bigger and more dangerous. We will be protected by other planets, but still, the chances of collision will be a lot higher than normal. But who cares, really? We'll be toast by then. Obviously, this is all just speculation. Nobody knows for sure what'll happen if gravity suddenly decides to stop working even for a second. What we know, though, is that it can't happen without numerous laws of physics being broken all at once. Scientists are pretty certain such a turning off is impossible altogether. For this to happen, everything in the universe will have to lose its mass first. Mass is the main reason things have gravity. So the heavier the object, the more gravity it has. Even you have it. It's just so small that you can't feel it. But if you were several million times more massive, you'd probably be the center of everyone's attention. Hey, I'd use that opportunity.